Hey campers, Jeff at CH Waltz Outdoor and RV in Jersey Shore, Pennsylvania. Today I'm excited to talk to you about the Winnebago Voyage 2730RL. So as you look first, you're gonna see this beautiful painted nose cap, some nice accent lighting. Um, coming on this camper are 30 pound propane tanks and it also has an electric stabilization system and that's for the tongue jack and all four stabilizers so you can control them right up here at the front. Let's move around and check out some other things. All right, so on the 2730RL, keep in mind this is a 27-foot box, 30-foot total length, and this is a camper that has opposing slides, so you have a lot of living space, as you'll see when we get inside. Um, the cool thing about this is you're under that 30-foot range, so you got a lot of access to national parks um, and fun things like that. Um, this awning is 13-foot because we have an opposing slide. Um, JBL sound systems, I like that they put the speakers low, so when you're sitting here enjoying at the... You know, with your family and friends outside, you're not blaring it into the neighbors, you're enjoying it at your level. It does have a spray port, um, solid steps, Goodyear tires on a nice, uh, really nice uh, suspension system. Let's go around to the back. So as we look at the back of the Winnebago, let's talk about some of the standard features that come on the Voyage. Prep for the uh, rear backup camera. It also is prepped for side cameras. It's a fully walkable roof. Um, you have a ladder to gain access to that roof. Uh, let's talk about the two inch receiver that has a 350 pound weight limit. So you could carry a lot of stuff on there. Some really nice heavy um, electric bikes would easily you know, support that. Um, coming equipped with the LED lights on all the Winnebago's with the reverse marker lights uh, that go in sync with your vehicle. Let's check out that inside. I know you're gonna love it. All right campers, now that we're inside the Voyage 2730RL, Let's talk about how great it is to have these opposing slides, to have all this room inside a smaller camper that's going to gain you access to state and national parks so easy. Um, this comes with theater style seating, uh, so nice and comfortable and it views right behind me at the TV. Um, this also comes with a trifold sofa, so if the grandkids are along a few times a year or just friends in general, can sleep adults. Um, some of the small features I like about this camper are the nice blinds that they put on this particular camper. Um, they really stepped it up. It's just a better quality than what it was years ago. Um, you have lots of storage. These all hold up into place. Um, lighting is all controlled separately. Um, this does have the, um, you know, all the Winnebago's come with your smartphone chargers. So I really like that they did that. Plus it's a nice area that has 110 hookup. As I move over here, now you're sitting at the theater style seating. You're looking right at the TV. I will say that this TV is on a swivel mount, so you could swivel it over if someone wanted to enjoy it from there. And then this particular one has the storage behind it. So lots of usable, I mean, that's really deep storage. As we move into the kitchen area, the boys is gonna come with the 15 cubic foot refrigerator. Here again, for a camper this size, this is really a nice feature. And I just wanna open that up so you can get a good look at it. And then this has a separate tray for wire basket. So that's really gonna be nice as you travel. This is a 12 volt compressor refrigerator. Um, so that'll run off your battery. And then this camper also comes standard with the 200 watt solar panel on the top with the 30 amp uh, control panel. So that'll help you uh, with that. And you can always add on to if you want. Um, so as we look over here, you'll see that this comes with a full size microwave and convection oven. They do a nice job on their hardware. Um, you have the sink cover and a full stainless steel sink. And if you need a little bit extra countertop space, you also have that. And that has a nice three burner range on it too. It's really nice and wide. Um, so let's move on over and check out the bathroom. All right guys, so we wanted to test out the bathroom. This has got lots of room. Um, I really feel comfortable in this camper. It is a porcelain toilet with Winnebago. And you'll take notice to the side of me, they do a shower with the glass door. Um, so that's really nice. I will get up inside. With the Voyage, you have really tall ceilings up to 70 inches on these. So for a tall guy, you have a lot of space in here, which is really just such a nice thing about the Voyage. As we look at the countertop space you have ample countertop space they put a big mirror with a separate vanity and we'll go check out the bedroom next a great feature i forgot to mention is the fan controls that open up the vent and turn on your fan and this does this as well in the kitchen and the reason for that is because it is such tall ceilings but it's a nice little feature that they give so you're not having to sit there and stretch to operate your vent and like I said, that's here in the bathroom and also in the kitchen. 
All right, so as we look at this bedroom, let's just point out the first, this came with the king size bed option. Now, that limits you to a little bit more of a tight squeeze around the bed on the sides at any rate. On the front, there's plenty of room, but on the sides, it's a little bit tighter. But what it does get you is a king size bed. So standard, it would come with the queen size. Um, this camper was also prepped with, or came optioned with the second air conditioning unit already in the bedroom which is controlled on a separate thermostat and on each side of the bed as well you have a 110 plus your USB and C uh, hookups as well. So as I'm sitting down I just want to point out from here what a great view I still have from over here because you have a lot of good windows all around here. I mean aside from right here where the TV and the fridge are you have windows all around which is just really going to make it nice as you're parked somewhere and hopefully enjoying some beautiful scenery. So let's go over some specs on the 2730RL Voyage. Um, 10 gallon water heater. So they're still doing the gas electric water heater, which I think is a good thing because it does give you that better capability of off-grid camping. And having a 10 gallon on this camper is really nice. Um, 60 gallon fresh water tank, 49 gallon black water tank, 49 gallon gray water tank. The underbelly of these campers are heated, sealed. They also have heating pads on each tank. So gray, black, and fresh water tanks all have the heated pads, which is really nice. Um, these campers have the Asdell composite sidewalls. They're also foil wrapped. So here again, it's just more extreme weather. It, can you go out and camping in Fargo, North Dakota in 20 degree weather? No, it's not a good camper for that, but you are definitely going to extend your season really good in one of these for sure. Um, it does come with the black tank flush. Um, again, this camper came with the 15K AC here in the living room and then also the second AC in the bedroom, both on separate thermostats. Um, both come with, uh, this comes with the dual 30 pound uh, propane tanks. Um, I told you about the 13 foot awning. And just to go over a couple of things, as I can get to this second page, um, I did want to tell you, you know, it has the Goodyear tires. Um, it has a really nice quality uh, leaf spring suspension, so you're going to get a good ride out of this. It's using that good BAL frame that you're used to hearing about so much with the Huck Bolt system. Um, so just literally a lot of nice qualities I can go on and on about this, but what I really wanted to tell you was in brief how great this camper is. I want to see you come on in here to CH Waltz Outdoor and RV in Jersey Shore, Pennsylvania, so we can show you in person how great this camper is, and I look forward to seeing you. See you soon, campers.